Back in this country, much more peaceful scenes as large numbers of people took to the streets in Washington and other cities today to keep the spotlight on gun violence and to back the Obama administration's push for stricter gun laws. But gun rights supporters are finding ways to demonstrate their own passions over the issue. Thousands of people have rallied in Washington, D.C., calling for stricter gun controls. They marched from the Capitol to the Washington Monument. The protest also included residents of Newtown, Connecticut, where a primary school shooting last month revived the debate over security and gun safety. Thousands of protesters braved the bitterly cold Washington weather as part of a campaign against gun crime. Some held signs calling for assault weapons to be banned as they marched through the U.S. Capitol. The rally was led by Washington Mayor Vincent Gray, who called on Congress to act swiftly to pass stricter laws. We've got to get these assault weapons uh, out of our uh, streets and out of society. We've got to have universal background checks, and we've got to recognize that we can have guns in the hands of people who are uh, psychotic. About 100 residents of Newtown were also there. The Connecticut schools saw last year's biggest mass shooting when 20 children and six adults were gunned down by a lone killer at Sandy Hook Elementary School. The protest came a week after nationwide rallies by gun rights supporters and was even backed by Hollywood actress Kathleen Turner. The public is now at this moment, I think, very active, very aware, and we have to push it through to the point of legislation. Until the United States Congress takes the actions that's necessary. Well, the anti-gun America, America has spoken city, with force, and the Obama the administration is determined to jolt the nation into action. Whether all this will resonate with Congress remains in doubt. Voices.